What is up, people, and welcome back to ProSecond 2020 for yet another real stage race. Following the Etoile de Bessege that took place last week, we are staying in the south of France for a more mountainy race, the Tour de la Provence. Four stages with, once again, a very nice start list. Now, how, uh, I have to warn you, uh, if I laugh less than usual, it most likely is because my entire body is sore from trying to work out. Yes, so if I don't laugh, right, allow it. I'm not sick or anything, I'm just, my body is physically impossible of producing a laughing noise. Now, we will have four stages on this Tour de la Provence, starting with two hilly stages, the first one being between Aubagne and siphon les plages with uh, the Col de l'Espigoulier to uh, start things off. Quite a, quite a tough climb to uh, get the legs um, already working at the very start of this race, uh, but then some hilly terrain alongside the uh, entire parkour, throughout the entire parkour. It will be followed by another hilly stage, as I said, between Cassie and Meursk, once again, kill to get the legs working, uh, and then Col de la Mort d'Imbert, Col Montfuron, and finally the climb toward Manosque, just under 4%, I think, yep, under 4%, uh, one and a half kilometers for stage number two, which will be followed by the queen stage of the Tour de la Provence, Istre, Mont Ventoux, Chalet Renard. Um, we will climb the uh, Géant de Provence, the, the, the bold mountain, um, and stop at its halfway point at the Chalet Renard, I believe eight kilometers away from the actual summit, so not exactly the halfway point, but you get what I mean. Um, I believe this is where the Tour de France stage had ended, uh, with Thomas de Rent winning it, and mainly Christopher Froome running uh, in the climb following uh, an incident with a motorbike. And finally, we will wrap this uh, four-day race with a stage between Avignon and Salon de Provence. Uh, I have no idea what the parkour is because uh, those stages on uh, those towns are very close, um, geographically speaking. So we may have some uh, riding alongside the Mediterranean Sea, but we shall see. Now, as I said, there is quite a very nice competition, quite a nice field uh, here on this um, on this Tour de la Provence. I've already taken Xelis and uh, Total this season. BNB has no one able to climb apart from Jonathan Hiver and, uh, I mean, if I was to take them, I'd most likely use Kokar. So probably in a, a more sprint-oriented stage, uh, Delco, I probably won't use them. Let, let's be realistic, I hate their kits. Some people love it. Uh, I don't, right? Um, I'm not a big fan of horizontal stripes, but that's just me. Saint-Michel, I'm sorry, lad, but when your best rider is Stefan Rossetto, no. <laughs> Kubo Carasos, I thought about them. Um, I really did, but, um, that, I mean, no. The first three stages, uh, sorry, the first two stages, I can't win them. Um, the last one, I can't win it. So... Yeah, so I've decided to go for Arkea Samzik. Why? Uh, they have Warren, he's a decent climber. He's not the best, but he's decent. Uh, apparently he's better in hills than mountain, but why not? Um, however, why, the main reason is that Arkea won the Tour de la Provence last year with a certain Nairo Quintana. Now, Nairo is not here, um, but I feel it's a strong team. It's not the strongest, it's three stars, so it's bang in like, the mix, it's average. Uh, then you've got De Conanc who came here with an app. So, fucking hell, De Conanc, man. Alright, so we'll have to fight the likes of, Gianni, of uh, Egan Bernal. We'll also have to fight, but that's physically with Yanni Moscon. Um, you'll have the likes of Dylan Tunes, Wout Powell, and Jack Haig. Vlasov is there. Enric Mas is there. Molema, Chicone. There's a lot of good riders, but we're coming here with Warren Barguil. Let's go. And we're on the way for this Tour de la Provence. Uh, I'm seeing Arnaud Desmar wearing his French champion jersey. Uh, that he won last year. Who the fuck is that then? Gonzalez. Is that Puerto Rico? I think it is Puerto Rico, right? It's not on GeoGuessr, so I'm not sure now anymore. Because um, I'm, I'm the GeoGuessr king, all right? Like, let's, let's face it. No one can beat me. That's false. I've lost many games. Uh, we've got Kasper Asgren here for Denmark. Who else do we have? That's about it, I think, for uh, national champions. Uh, let's take a look at some kits we haven't seen yet this year. The uh, the Bahrain Victorious, which is a kit I really like. Not as much as I like the Bahrain McLaren one, uh, because I think it's still a masterpiece, but it's not bad. Inos Grenadiers hasn't changed, and we've seen it. Bora, we've seen it. Movie Star, same. 
Uh, Kubeka, I don't think we saw it in Besege, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I just didn't see him. Here's the world champion of Alaphilippe, we'll talk about the um, uh, Duke and kit. Asana, very nice jersey from um, from the boys. Um, well yeah, my riders are already getting dropped in this hill. Phenomenal, accelerate decades, and you as well. Why is my entire mad about lads? You're literally, I'm asking you to pace. What do you not understand in the instruction, please pace? Well, I mean, I'm going to take first place at the Col de l'Espigoulier, which is good. Uh, sorry, Nasser. Sorry? Wow, that's French. Sorry, Nasser. Um, you're a bit further down. But let's go. 16 points for one bargain. Big ups. All right, intermediate sprint coming up. Uh, I might go for it. Well, one, to be fair. There's seconds. Yeah, there's three seconds. I'm going there with, uh, with Warren. Classic, uh, classic tactics to get some time. Perfect. Let's go. Barkills get seconds. Uh, that's already plus three for uh, our GC battle or our GC um, fight. That's something, isn't it? All right, so Nasser won't come back. Uh, I'm, I'm sad, I'm not going to lie, but it's okay. Uh, now, one of the things I haven't mentioned, but I should have mentioned at the very start, there is a new channel art uh, that you probably have seen. Uh, we've changed the logo, changed the banners, um, all courtesy of my very good friend Luis Latui. The link is in the description for his Twitter. Uh, he is an upcoming, up and coming uh, graphic designer, and uh, he's been ever so kind to design me a, a new logo and a new banner. So yeah, just feel free to to send him some love on his Twitter. He deserves it genuinely. There's five kilometers left in this stage, and um, we only have three riders in the peloton. Well, three able rider, and then we've got Maxim Boué. Um, yeah, this stage was quite hard for some of my guys. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to use the gel for fuck's sake. Uh, there goes Connor Swift. Who's that? That's Dylan Tons. Dylan! Where do you think you're going? Do you think you're going for a 3k solo? Because for now it looks like you are and it looks like you might work. Warren tried to late comeback. Conrad turns Swift. Conrad Bargill. Conrad Bargill. Conrad Bargill. Warren Bargill wins the first stage of this Tour de la Provence here. In the great street of Sifour les Plages. Stupendous start. Stupendous start. Also, it's actually minus four in France. I'm not sure there'll be people actually here under the umbrellas and shit. I've never, it's never been this cold in my entire life in France. I, literally, I am freezing. A genuine. It, it's snowing. I've looked at my window and it's snowing. Please, can we ban, can we ban winter? Please. Stage number two on the way. And with Warren wearing the very. Um, bright jersey of leader of the Tour de Provence. Uh, we're going to try and maintain said lead by winning today in, um, in Manosque. Already some attacks. Jeremy Lecro being the first one to uh, go for a move the rider from a BNB. Well, we're just going to stay in the wheels and not do anything with Warren today. Um, if Nasser can try to hold on, then why not? He did lose half an hour yesterday, to be fair. Final 7Ks of this stage, uh, we've crossed the previous two clumps, Vimordimbert and Montfuron. For some odd reason, uh, Alaphilippe and Ardo Demar attacked. Uh, I get that they're both French and they want to do well and they want to like, show their colors, both as a French champion or as a world champion. But why? Why would Arno Demar follow Julien Alaphilippe now? It, do it just don't make sense. It, I'm sorry, it just doesn't. What does make sense though? Is the fact that we're now accelerating with Connor Swift leading man like Warren Bargill towards hopefully what is going to be a second stage win here on this Tour de la Provence. 1k to go. We're going to launch our sprint right now. There goes Warren Bargill. Nasser Boigny is in the wheel. He will not be able to do anything. And it is a French win here in Manosque. Warren Bargill wins ahead of Julien Lafilippe, Rudy Mollard, Nasser Boigny, and. Dylan turns, nope, Arnaud Demar gets fifth place. It's a 1, 2, 3 for 5 for France. The FFL is in the mud. But Arkea is well and truly on top of its game. And we are on the way for the queen stage of this Tour de la Provence between Istres and the Mont Ventoux Chalet Renard. It's a plus 4 for Thomas Bouda. Not that it makes any difference. He's going to have a whopping 66 in Mountain today. That is everything I do not need from him. However, we do have a plus 1. From our good Warren Bargill. He is leading the GC thanks to consecutive wins here on this Tour de la Provence. Leading the 
world champion Julian Lafay by 17 seconds, same for Patrick Conrad, the rest of the main peloton is 23 seconds down, meaning that Egan Bernal has a 23 second deficit on Warren. Can the former French champion hold on to what would be uh, probably his, I mean, I was going to say his worst win in his career, but he's won two stages on this Tour de la Provence already. Because this man has only won on the Grand Tours and on the French Championship. It's incredible. It's, it, he has the most selective palmarès I've ever seen. He nearly won the Tour of Norway or the Arctic Race of Norway. But on the last day, he decided to, to lose to Mathieu van der Poel. Obviously, it was on purpose. He did not want to win the race as it is not as prestigious as the Tour de France or the Vuelta a España. So yeah. Also, Remy, mate, you need better stats. Come on. Uh, poor guy. He's got... He's, uh, he's better than this. Come, allow it. Remy, God deserves better. Uh, oh, and we've got Lydion Calmejan in the breakaway, the rider from AG2R Citroën. What a... That, that, that jersey, I'm sorry, right? I know some of you like it. And if you are one of these people, you need to get your eyes fixed, right? It's... From me to you, please go see an eye doctor. I don't know what it's... I think it's an ophthalmologist. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't have anything uh, regarding the terminology of doctors for the eyes. But please, please go check yourselves. It's important. We're approaching the intimate sprint of Bidouin, which is just up the road, meaning that we are going to start the Mont Ventoux. I've been there. I've literally been in that corner. Uh, and from this point onward starts um, well, many things. One of them being the pain in your legs. Um, and it's going to gradually increase because the part until the Chalet Renard is the toughest part of the Mont Ventoux. When you go, oh, actually, when you reach the summit, right, the summit, sorry, when you reach the Chalet Renard, um, it's actually quite peaceful, I guess. It's, well, not peaceful, but it's not as hard. Um, the good thing is when I climbed it, there was no wind, which is quite rare on the Mont Ventoux. Uh, but apparently it's not on PCM because there's full wind meaning that we won't have uh, any kind of struggle um, on that matter. But yeah, I'm quite curious to see uh, how things are going to go here. We've got Vlasov already in third place. Uh, then we've got the Bowen boys. Then we've got Egan Bernal. Uh, and then we don't have wine. Good. Good start. I like being dropped at the very, like, first slope of a climb. That's probably one of the things I enjoy the most, actually, on PCM. And there's a move. Move on the left-hand side of the road. Prethu Serrada going for an attack. No one follows. There goes Bauke Molema. There goes Bernal. Okay, shit, I have to go. Okay. I expected someone from, to be fair, exactly. I expected someone from Bayern Victorious to pace, but it's just Workwell's attacking at this point. That is oddly suspicious. Egan Bernal tempoing in this uh, climb towards the Chalet Renard. Egan Bernal stopping on the right-hand side of the road. Warren Barguil is doing quite well for now. I don't want to use too much of my energy. 19 riders left in this group, soon to be 18, as Connor Swift will collapse eventually. Um, there goes Connor Swift. Goodbye, Connor. You've had a nice run. Warren, still pacing. I don't want to pace too much, though, because, I mean, let's be real. I don't want to drop. Tim Wellens, the winner of the Etoile de Bessé Junior Life, gone. Asgreen, gone. Gorka is, sorry, Yonis Aguirre, gone. Ruben Fernandez, gone. Paré Peintre, the winner of La Marseillaise, gone. All right, this climb is making a lot of riders suffer. I'm not going to use too much energy right now. I'm just going to try and slow down. Oh, Bernal. Bernal. Egan. Egan. More like Egon Bernal right now with this attack. That's such a dead joke. Uh, but Bernal has decided to make a move. 4K to go for the Colombian. He's won the Tour de France, but can he win the Tour de la Provence? That's a whole nother story. We're well, doing quite well right now. We're going to drop Julien Lafilippe. The world champion is gone. Galopin, Pulse gone. Conrad gone. Aru gone. All right. Bargil dropping Herada. Vlasov. Molema. Molema. Bauke. Bauke. Molema. Gone. Vlasov. Gone. All right. We've reached Egan Bernal. Now, I'm going to be tactical. I need to maintain 23 seconds on Bernal. I don't have to pace. Literally, I just have to worry about Alaphilippe beating me today. Oh, Bernal. Bernal struggling, right? Um, I mean, my my pride is just gonna be just just gonna have to work in it. Warren Bargil taking the relay of Egan Bernal in this final kilometer. Can we take the win against a Tour de France winner? Come on, Warren! Come on! Prove to this man which of these competitions is the better one. 
Is it the Tour de France? Is it the Tour de la Provence? It is the Tour de la Provence back to back to back wins for Warren Morgill, the leader of Arkea Samzik. Is going to maintain this race in the um, palmarès of Arkea. Last year it was Nero Quintana. This year it appears to be Warren Morgill as Vlasov completes the podium one and a half minutes behind the stage winner and Polkadot jersey winner of the Tour de France. Right, in the words of uh, the almighty Jürgen Klopp, a uh, humongous dub from Warren Bargill. 27 seconds on the GC now uh, with Egan Bernal and 150 on Alexander Vlasov with one more stage in this race, a flat one uh, between Avignon and Salon de Provence. I do not see how Warren could lose this GC unless he crashes, but let's not wish him that, shall we? It's a minus two for Warren to wrap this up. Good thing I'm not going to count on him for the stage today. We're counting on Nasser Bouani. He's lost exactly one hour in five seconds. Now, I want him to finish within one hour of Warren. Therefore, first or second for, na for, um, for Nasser today. Obviously, I'm going for first. Right? I want to do the Grand Chelem. I want to have four stages, four jerseys. I can't have four jerseys because Warren is not less than under 25. I want four stages, three jerseys. Uh, what else could I really want from a four stage race? Um, I think I've yeah I've done already quite well. I think I'll see if I can think of something else during this stage, but I don't think I will. See you for the sprint, lads. Six k to go. I'd love if um, my train could actually get in position. Like genuinely, the only rider right now in position is Warren Bargill. Uh, Clément, I beg, Clément, swerve, fam, please, right, think you're on the fucking motorway, like, M6 and that, just, okay, I'm not gonna be able to sprint, brilliant, uh, well, Warren, you're, you're a sprinter, and, like, don't, you've been a sprinter your entire life, come on, let's take the Boulevard Nodé Marden, um, not genuinely, this, this is a shocker, you know what, I don't, I don't even care at this point, All right, I've won four, three stages, that's already more than enough. Jesus, Warren has been dropped. Well, we'll settle for a top 10, I guess. Yeah, top 10. Easy top 10. Arnaud Mar wins today in Salon de Provence ahead of Brian Cocard. There's been a massive crash. Uh, thankfully, none of my riders are caught in there. Is there anyone withdrawing? Uh, there is this lad right there, Jonathan Hiver, who's trying to ride over his mate. It's not very kind of you, Jonathan. Uh, anyone withdrawing? Albinel, no, no one. Great. Demarco Carventurini to round up this Tour de France. Warren in seventh position. Well, quite an anticlimactic final stage. Uh, I wish I could have sprinted, but apparently I couldn't. Uh, so I'll have to settle with that. Uh, but yeah, Arnaud wins ahead of Carventurini. No full stage for the boys. But the GC for Warren Bargill ahead of Egan Bernal and Alexander Vlasov. Joined to that, the mountain classification ahead of Julien Simon for two little points. And the points one ahead of Bargil, uh, ahead sorry, of Alafib for 50 points. Quite a, quite a, a stupendous display from, uh, from Warren. Best young brother is Egan Bernal. Obviously, Warren could not compete in that classification, otherwise, he would have won it. Team wise, Baron Victorious takes the job. We end up in fourth place. Uh, congratulations to uh, the lads who are indeed victorious today. And um, yeah, that was this one of the points. Overall, quite a, quite a nice tour to ride. Uh, if it wasn't for the last stage, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I do not remember who made it. Uh, it might be Emre. It might be Stylus. I can't remember. Uh, however, what I do remember is that Wouti made the start list. So big shout out to him. Once again, huge, huge shout out to, to Louis for making my, uh, my new channel art. I hope you guys like it because I certainly do. For those asking why the color combination, it's very simple. Uh, I'm a sneaker addict. The green is the green from uh, my human races uh, laces and the yellow is from uh, the soul uh, of my other human race uh, i got two i got a green one and a yellow one so clearly the i mean it makes sense um and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did then please do leave a like down below if you're new on here and want to see more of my content feel free to subscribe if you want to hear Joe and myself, Joe, as in Tim Soski, and myself talk about cycling. The link to the Ascent Cycling Podcast is also in the description, and I will see you in the very near future for some more PCM content. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm
All them all the man need feeding, I don't wanna go bombay Them I don't know what I do when I go from bealing Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass Snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster 